Hey guys, I just wanted to talk to you today about this aftermarket radio I put in this 2016 Ram Promaster City and why I chose this one and you know how to do it if you want to do it yourself. So first off, uh, this is the Pioneer AVH 1300NEX. Uh, it is the cheapest radio you can get that supports Apple CarPlay and I chose this after looking at a couple of other radios. So I looked at the Sony radios and those by Kenwood. I didn't really like the Kenwood radios since they're a little bit more expensive at this point in time and the user interface wasn't as sleek. The Sony's I really liked for the knob that they had over here so you could adjust the volume and you can press and hold to trigger Siri as well, I believe. But the touchscreen was just a little bit more, you know, these are all resistive touchscreens, but the Sony ones, you could just, you could feel that there was a little bit more distance between the film and the screen itself. It didn't feel as good. And the user interface had a little bit of lag when you transition between stuff. And so the Pioneer radios, I chose these because they're, you know, first of all, they're cheaper. Uh, that's pretty nice. And it just was, it had, it felt the best out of the ones that I tried. Okay, so let's get started on how the install went. Um, first of all, I'm gonna take this off. Okay, panels off. And the radio itself just slides in. It's a pretty tight fit. And you can see the inside, there's some connections to the radio, and there's the body. So let me clear the radio. Before you do this, you're gonna want to unplug the battery. So to do that, you wanna pop your hood. Just go ahead and pull this tab. Then on the front of the vehicle, just reach down. There should be another tab you can pull. And that goes right up. And this to that. Boom, done. And so these are pretty easy to disconnect. There's a gray tab here, you just push in, pull up. There's gonna be a couple of inches you gotta pull through, but that's fine. And once you do that, your battery is disconnected. All right, back in the vehicle, here's a view of the inside of the dash. So you can see the USB cable that just uh, connects to the adapter that I'm gonna link to. And here's the microphone. I just put that over here, right in front of my dash, so it can pick up my voice easily. And you just snake the wire behind, it goes right in there. Uh, this is the backup camera, and here's the wiring harness that I bought from Metro. And uh, let's see, if I remove this, it should be able to give you a better view of the inside. So that's the inside of the dash. As you can see, uh, there was some cutting involved. Uh, all of this part, you're going to have to cut off. There used to be more material there. You can prepare the inside of your van if you have this one. Uh, same with the other side. You're going to have to cut all that off. And then these little ears over here are where the AC ducts are. Same thing. There's another tab over here that you have to cut off. And on the other side, same thing. Just right on the bottom, you have to cut that as well. As for the rest of it, um, there are four screws over here that you have to undo when you install the custom radio. And you have to undo these as well. These are all just torque screws. You undo those, you pull down on here and pull out, and there will be a cable at the bottom of this that you have to undo. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So once you do that, you do the cutting, you can fit a double din radio in there, and that'll give you access to Apple CarPlay and all these wonderful things. One more thing, which is if you power your car back on and you found that the clock has been reset, it's pretty easy to fix. Just press and hold the menu button until it blinks on the dash and then press the down button and keep pressing down in menu until you can change the time.